Hello, the people who me in front of here, and today, today being like a month late to the trend, um, but hey, you know what, it's, it's pretty much free content, um, and I needed to, I've actually been wanting to make this video for a while, it is a tier list of all of the starter Pokemon, uh, again, this is my opinion, this is not factual, um, you can like whatever starter Pokemon that you want, this is just my general opinion. Um, it's gonna be very straightforward, I'm just gonna go through each Pokemon generation by generation and put them in. Um, you can probably guess what my favorite starter is gonna be, but, um, but either way, let's just get started with the list. Um, first off, we have Venusaur. Now, I'm gonna immediately put Venusaur up into the A tier. Um, honestly, out of the three, uh, Cantus Star of Venusaur is my favorite. The whole thing with the one that no one ever picked. I always liked Venusaur, partially for that reason. It was the underdog in X and Y. I took it, and it ended up being perfect because it worked for the story the best. Um, I like its mega. I just like it for the fact that it's the underdog, the one that nobody ever picked. Um, yada, 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 yada. Um, yeah. Um, so, I'm gonna have Venusaur in the A tier here. Next, we have... Charizard. Now, Charizard, to be honest, I'm going to put Charizard in the B or C tier. You know what? I'm going to put Charizard in the B tier for one reason and one reason only. It's fun to play with its megas competitively. That is the only reason. Charizard, the amount of love it gets, the amount of pandering it gets, I hate it for it. It's everywhere, nobody ever shuts up about it, everybody knows it, and that's the one everybody chose in Generation 1. Me, I like to be, I, I like to be like, no, this, it's, it's overrated, yada yada yada. I, it's fun to play with competitively, that's the one thing that saves it. Um, yeah, if it wasn't played with fun with, if it wasn't fun to play with competitively, I, it would probably be in the C or D tier for me. I have nothing against his design, it's just everybody loves it, and so I'm not going to. Um, but Blastoise, though, I'm going to put Blastoise in the C tier. I'm going to be honest, a lot of people love Blastoise. I just see Blastoise as a, eh, yeah, cool. Uh, it's Mega is nothing really special, it's actually pretty weak, uh, one of the weakest Megas. Um, and yeah, just it's it's just there for me. I don't, I don't have any special attachment to it, um, um, so yeah, that's really, that's gonna be it for, uh, the Generation 1 starters, uh, next, moving on to Generation 2, uh, Meganium, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna put Meganium in the D tier, look, I, I know it's cute, okay, but I just, I just can't, like, it's, it's too weak to me, uh, honestly, in my opinion, the Generation 2 starters, Honestly, it might be my least favorite trio as of right now. Um, obviously, they don't have Megas, so if they got really cool Megas like Gen 3 starters did, then that could maybe sway my mind. I don't know, just, they, they never really stood out to me. Uh, I know they stand out to a lot of other people, and I've, I have nothing against people who like Generation 2 starters. The Gen 2 games are fun, um, but I, I just don't like too many of the, I just, the Gen 2 starters are kind of just, like, meh for me. And Meganium is just too weak. And I, I, I personally don't like it. I also I think it's because somebody posted a picture of Meganium without the leaf around its neck. And I can never unsee that. Um, uh, next up is... Is Typhlosion. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Typhlosion in the, um... Uh, C, B. Now I'm gonna put it in the C tier. It, I mean, it, in the, in the um, 2D games, its sprite looks pretty cool. In the 3D games, I don't know. I just, uh, it, it's the same thing with Blastoise. I, I don't dislike it. It's kind of just like meh to me. Um, nothing nothing uh, too special. It's just like, cool, it's there. Um, uh, I usually play with it through... Um, through uh, gold and silver, uh, or I'll sometimes use Feraligator, which I'm also going to put at the C tier, because, hey, you know what, it, it's the same thing, it's just like, cool, it's there, not my favorite, not the most strong, not the strongest competitively, but hey, it, it's cool, 
Um, so next up is Generation 3. Now, Sceptile, I'm going to immediately put in... Of course, as I say immediately, it takes me a couple seconds to decide. Um... I'm going to put uh, Sceptile in the B tier. Um, I used it for my Alpha Sapphire playthrough that I did. Um, I had I have my groupie and Alpha Sapphire used it uh, for Alpha Sapphire. And um, and it was very enjoyable to play with. I love its Mega. I wish it was stronger, but I love its Mega. The Grass and Dragon typing, while extremely weak to Ice, is a very cool typing. Um, and yeah, it's just it's generally a very cool Pokemon. Ash's Sceptile is one of the strongest, um, and I love that. Uh, so yeah, it, it it's uh it's I I, honest, I like it more than Charizard. So the fact that it's in the same tier really just shows how much the competitive usefulness of Charizard carries it for me. Next up though is Blaziken, and Blaziken I'm going to put. Mm, you know what? I'm actually I'm actually gonna move uh Venusaur up to the S tier and put Blaziken there along with it. Um, um, Blaziken, uh, I used it for my Omega Ruby playthrough, and let me tell you, I sped through that game, and by god, I love using this thing competitive, it's so busted, um, I have an Ubers team that's built around it, and it's very fun to use, um, yeah, I mean, what, what else can really be said about it, everybody knows this Pokemon for how good it is, um, yeah, it's, it's just a generally very strong and OP Pokemon that I love to use. Um, next up, though, is Swampert, and Swampert is going to... Actually, mm, I need to... Am I going to keep Subtile in the A tier? Um, I think... I, I see, see, here's my dilemma right now. I, I want to put Sceptile, I want to put um, Swampert in the A tier, but that means I like it more than Sceptile, and I like them equally, but I don't think that Swampert deserves to be in the B tier um, to me. So, I'm going to actually move Sceptile and uh, Swampert up to the A tier. Swampert, again, it's a very another very strong Pokemon. I uh, love using it in rain teams. It is like the best rain sweeper that there is, at least one of them. Kingdra is also really good. Um, fun to use in OU. Uh, combined with a Pelipper, it doubles. It's also very fun. Um, generally, it's designed to shiny. Um, to me, is decent. Uh, um, a, a lot, a lot of the starter shinies to me are just like, okay, yeah, cool. Charizard's, uh, Charizard shiny. Obviously, it's it's cool. I mean, what do you expect? It's Charizard. They're gonna make it a really cool shiny. Um, that's kind of to be expected. Um. But yeah, Swampert is it's just one of those really cool Pokemon. Gen Generation three really is solid has solid starters all the way around. Uh for me. Sorry if you're hearing a bunch of noises, it's my desk. Um but next we're moving on to generation four and we're gonna put Torterra in the C tier right off the bat. Um Torterra, again, it's in that meh decent okay you're there tier. Um and yeah, I, I don't really, I, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it either. I wish it was stronger. It's got a very big weakness to ice. Um, we really need Generation Four Megas. <laughs> we really do. Next up, I, I'm not even. Okay, we're we're done here. Um, next up is uh, Empoleon. Now Empoleon, I'm going to put in the B tier. Um, it is not meh enough to be in the C tier, and I don't like it enough to be put in the A tier. Um, it, it was, I remember, uh, I think it was Pearl. I don't own Pearl. I, like, rented it from the library or something like that, because I was like, I want to play through a Generation 4 game, but I don't want to restart my Diamond game. So I used a Piplup, and it was cool. It was it was fine. Um, I played through Platinum, used Infernape again. Um... But Empoleon was another was a very fun Pokemon to use, and I enjoyed using it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it isn't too strong competitively. Uh, it's definitely got some uses in there. Utility it can set up spikes, Stealth Rocks, Defog. Uh, I actually think it spikes by Nogi to Stealth Rock and Defog. Um, Aqua Jet, yeah, uh, it's a good underused Pokemon. It's good for the underused tier. Next up is Generation Five. Now we're gonna put Superior. We're gonna put Superior. Uh, 
we're gonna put in the A tier. Uh, the generation five starters I don't dislike as uh, as much as other people. Um, Superior, I've I've had some I've had some six O's with with Superior and competitive man. You fire off one glare, then just start spamming. Uh, then just start spamming Leaf Storm until you win. Um, it's fast. Uh, its moveset isn't too great. Uh, it is not optimal for a Generation 5 playthrough in the slightest. Let me tell you, that's a challenge. Um, but it's a challenge that I'm always willing to take. Um, Superior to me just looks like a very, um, well, superior Pokemon. It is very elegant. Uh, I like the Grass Snake. Sadly, it doesn't have arms anymore. Rest in peace, Zervine. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a very enjoyable Pokemon to me. It's definitely on the same lengths as uh, Sceptile. Next up is Embor, and Embor I'm going to put in the B tier for um, for a couple of reasons. One, I don't dislike its design as many other people do. Uh, Shiny is fantastic. Do I wish that it wasn't firefighting? Yes. Um, I wish they'd done something different with it, fire ground or something. But uh, this is the first Pokemon I used when I got Generation 5. Um, I went with the Firestarter again because I loved Infernape. Um, I didn't, I obviously didn't like, uh, Embor as much as I did Infernape, but, um, yeah, I, I don't dislike it as, as many other people do. Pignite is ugly, and you have a reason to dislike Pignite, but Embor, I feel like, makes it better. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, for, for sentimental reason, it's, it's not in the meta tier, um, like Samurott is for me. Samurott's in the meta tier, because I don't dislike it. Um, I, I don't have much, I, I don't have, um, much against it. I mean, it's kind of just there for me. Uh, I did a playthrough of White 2 with it, and it did pretty well. Um, but yeah, competitively, doesn't have much use, doesn't have much use, uh, versatility, anything, really. It's kind of just, like, there for me. Um, which is the same thing, uh, for Chestnut. Uh, Chestnut gonna just straight just put in the mat here, just be like, it, it's, it's there. I never done a playthrough with, uh, Chespin. When I saw Chespin, especially Quillen, I was like, it, it didn't appeal to me much. Um, yeah, it, I just, it, it was kind of just like, uh, there, there for me. Um, next up though is Delphox, and this is a very unpopular opinion. But I love, but I really like Delphox. Um, is it because I chose it in Pokemon Y? Yes, mainly. Uh, it was the first Pokemon I ever got to level 100, and I, I don't know. I just, I, I really don't. I, I really like Delphox a lot. Fire and Psychic. Uh, it's one of if it's one of the only Fire and Psychics, if not the only Fire and Psychic. Um, and I, I never had anything against its design. People called ugly whatever they want to call it, but I really love that entire line, and I, I, it just holds a special place in my heart. Um, uh, next up, though, is Greninja, and we're going to put Greninja in the S tier. I, I, I chose Delphox in my um, Y playthrough the first time, but Greninja, it is too much fun and competitive. It is so good. I love using it. Ash Greninja, also lots and lots of fun so it deserves to be in the s tier also it's got one of if not the best shinies of all time and is a very badass looking pokemon um next up though are the gen 7 starters uh so decidueye we're gonna immediately throw up to the a tier um it it was my starter for pokemon moon uh i very much enjoyed uh using it i the second i saw its design that it was grass ghost i was like boom team I was already on Team Rally, but I wasn't too sure. I wanted to see the final Evos, and the second I saw the Decidueye, I was like, "Boom, that's mine!" And I still, I still would choose the Decidueye first in any game. It was the first generation where the first playthrough I did, I didn't choose a Fire type. I, stupid kid me, always chose the Fire type. This is the first time I didn't, um, and so I put that in the A tier for it. it it's very much like Sceptile and Superior. Um, next up, though, is, um, is Incineroar. I'm gonna put Incineroar in the B tier, because, um, I, I, it don't, it isn't meh to me, 
but it's like it, it's on it's on the it's sort of the same level as M board. It's like yeah, I've 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 used it before. I used it, in um I. Let me think. I used it in yeah Sun playthroughs. I played through Sun twice for the hell of it. I wanted to use all three stars, and when I used Incineroar, it was fine to play through with. I didn't run into many problems thanks to the fact that I had stuff to counter the totem wishy washy. Um. And yeah, generally, uh, it has, uh, the coolest of these, uh, Z moves, in my opinion, uh, Malicious Moonsault, and yeah, it, it's just, it's just chill, uh, for me. Next up is Primarina, uh, Primarina is gonna go to the mat tier to me, I don't dislike it, but it, it just, I don't even have, I don't even have a problem with this design, it's just, it's so slow to me, and, uh, yeah, you can, you can do some pretty cool stuff, uh, set up some cool stuff with Primarina, um, but I, I just, I, I don't, I didn't like it as much as Decidueye and Incineroar did, my biggest problem with Gen 7 was how slow the starters were, um, and so yeah, that's where I'm going to put Primarina, next up we have the Generation 8 starters, and I'm going to be honest, I have hardly any opinions about them yet, we haven't seen a single thing yet, I, I don't know, um, this can change, at any point, but right now, as of now, Grookey is going to the meh tier. Um, I it's design it just looks like looks like a grass monkey, uh, and I want to see what it I want to see what it turns into. It could it could move up. It it'll it could stay where it is. I doubt it's gonna go to the D tier because well I I just don't think that Grookey will. Um, uh, next up though is Score Bunny, and Score Bunny's gonna go up to the B tier. Um, Score Bunny, uh, it it look uh, it looked cool to me at first, fast rabbit. But if it turns into a firefighting, it's going down to the C tier because we do not need another one of those. But I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a firefighting type, and that will suck. Um, we do not need another one. Infernape does not need another brother. Um, and then Sobble also gonna put at the B tier, um, I, it's the whole sad thing, uh, it looks cute, uh, from the rumors saying it's gonna turn into a spy theme, this thing could easily move up to the A tier, depending on how it is competitively, the S tier, is it gonna go to SS, no, that's for Infernape and Infernape only, um, re really the SS tier could just be called the Infernape tier, S tier is like, is like the actual tier that matters, um, so, yeah, I feel like out of all, uh, Sobble has the highest, uh, potential. I still haven't even chosen a team for what starter I wanted for, uh, for Sword and Shield yet. I hardly know which version I want to get yet. Is that partially because we haven't gotten that much information? Yes, even though that is a good thing we don't have that much information. Uh, we, they don't need to show us the final evolutions. I can see the middle evolutions. That could, that could most likely change, uh, make my choice to where, which starter I want to go. Um, but yeah, so that is it, that is my opinion, and the ranking of all of the starter Pokemon to me. Is this very original? No, it's not. Uh, are you gonna get angry at me for putting Blastoise in the C tier and Charizard in the B tier? Because I don't know what your guys' favorite Pokemon is. Tell me what your favorite starter Pokemon is in the comments down below, though. Uh, if, if you know what, I, I'm not even gonna say don't give me hate. If you love Charizard and think it's the greatest Pokemon of all time, Tell me in the comments, and I pro and I'll probably just say no. I'll probably just say no. Infernape's better. Um, so yeah. With all that being said, I've been Inferno. Also, beautiful, lovely people. Again, next time.